Hello, my name is Taylor Brooks Brown. My candidate number is 004388-0009. And this is my presentation for IB Film Studies Standard Level. I'm going to talk about the 2014 Irish drama Calvary, directed by John Michael McDonough. The main themes evident in the film are religion, ethics, trust, and corruption. This differs from other works by the director, which involve the comedy thriller The Guard and the action-adventure film Ned Kelly. These films focus more on the entertainment aspect, whilst Calvary intends to deliver a message on the social issues of its time, um, promoting a more serious tone. Binary oppositions that I've identified include individual versus community and good versus evil. The protagonist, a humble priest called Father James, stands out as one of the very um, few good people in the town, contrasting the contrasting the corrupt nature of the people within the community in which the film is set. From a religious point of view, he is seen as a very pure person with great integrity, whilst the other people in the community could be seen as evil through demonstrating sins such as adultery and insincerely following a faith. The director's intention in addressing these themes is to change people's possible perception of a priest. He's very much seen as the victim throughout the story, and as an audience we're warmed to his good nature. This provides a contrast to the events that the film is based around, and delivers a message on the portrayal of priests during those events. In some ways this is a sense of restoration and hope for the Irish community, um, that has a heavily religious trust in the priesthood. The equilibrium theory is put in place in the film, and the narrative shows a clear structure that adds to the foreseeing of an inevitable conclusion. The displacement of the equilibrium occurs right at the start of the film, when James is, going, is told he's going to be killed in a week's time. This conflict triggers the main body of the narrative. Within the course of a week, James is determined to help the people of his town set their lives on a better course. In doing this, he shows his moral goodness, despite the fact that a fatal threat awaits him on the following Sunday. The construction of the film keeps us informed of when events take place through daily notifications. The director emphasises the breakdown of James's character as the week progresses, and he faces oppression from other characters. The bar fight serves as a climax in the narrative, where James becomes overwhelmed by the harsh treatment he receives due to an association of his status as a priest. The director targets the adult generation with the intention of changing their thoughts and associations of priests. This generation of people would have a greater understanding of the adult themes evident in the film and connect with the message that the director intends to portray. By putting the audience on the side of a good priest they can see how a stereotype can affect the life of an innocent person who may not necessarily deserve the conflict they encounter. This is the case with the protagonist in the film, Father James. The director appeals to the audience through the close relationships that James has, for example, with his daughter Fiona and his dog Bruno. Throughout the film we get to know James as a person, and by giving him these close relationships that many people can relate to, there is a sense of empathy created for his character. This is then taken further by the thought of these two um, important characters in his life being taken away from him. Um, his daughter trying to commit suicide and the murder of his dog are two tragic events that grasp the support of the audience. The director emphasises the brutality shown towards James by other characters such as Simon, Veronica and Dr Hart. This makes us feel sympathetic towards him and therefore emotionally bond with his character. The film is a drama and conforms to this through both character and setting. The setting is realistic as a small town promotes the idea of community, which is something that a lot of people can relate to. The characters are realistic to some extent in the way that these types of problematic people do exist in the world, but their roles are exaggerated to emphasise the oppression put on the innocent priest and achieve the film's intention of changing the audience's views on a cultural stereotype. The film deals with strong ethical values and ideas of trust and forgiveness. It relays the idea of being true to a faith and to not judge people based on common stereotypes. The audience are made to question the conventions of a priest they might believe are appropriate, 
due to the events of sexual abuse to children that certain members of the priesthood were responsible for in the late 20th century. Throughout the film, there are reoccurring references to this association of a priest. For example, when James and a young girl are walking down a path, the girl's father angrily pulls up in a car and takes her away from James, showing a fear of her being in danger. There is also the story that the doctor tells James in the bar, and, of course, the reason for the entire conflict of the film, the abuse of the man in the confession box at the start. However, the director intends to change these views through the representation of a good priest, someone who challenges this um, known association and promotes the moral of the film, not to categorise people based on common conceptions of their status in society or a particular group they belong to. The film was produced by various independent companies, um, Reprisal Films, Octagon Films and Lip Sync Productions. It also received funding from the Irish Film Board. For its size of production, the film was an economic success, grossing US dollars as of 10th of October 2014. It was released across many countries covering a lot of Europe, USA and Australia. Its reception was just as good interna internationally based on feedback left on IMDb, showing its international significance. It has also taken, it taken, it has taken on a topic that few other films have attempted to challenge, making it an important historical document of its time. The five minute sequence I've selected is from 37.23 to 42.23 and begins with a close up of the hospital patient in a coma. This scene is very significant to the film as a whole as critical ideas of faith and the attitude of the townspeople are highlighted, showing themes that run parallel to the nature of the film. James engages in a meaningful conversation with Teresa the wife of a man who is revealed to have died in a coma. She has lost a loved one but not her faith in God, which contrasts the other members of the community who are misguided by their own sinful attitudes. This woman is one of the very few people in the film who also has a good nature like our protagonist, which adds to the audience's appreciation of their characters. Some takes are especially drawn out in length to leave the audience in this upsetting moment of the film and attach them to the tragic emotions of the characters at this point. After blessing the man, we see James and Teresa praying over his body for almost five seconds before cutting to the next scene. This leaves the audience to absorb the tragic emo emotions evident at this particular moment and attach them to the loss of this innocent woman's husband. Editing is also significant in the short dreamlike phase that James experiences. Um, the rapid use of jump cuts between the same shot but with a different member of the town pointing a gun towards the camera makes us feel rather uncomfortable and reflects the distress that the main character is feeling. The soft use of music during the scene in the church runs parallel to its nature. The violins create a sense of sadness which mimics the character's emotions as they express how upset they are with the world around them. Apart from the dialogue, there is no diegetic sound in this clip, which adds to the effect of setting, creating a feel of peace and purity within the church. The soft delivery of dialogue emphasises the innocence of these two characters, and en enhances our emotional connection with them as an audience. The lighting creates a sombre atmosphere in the church that reflects the sadness of Teresa's loss of her husband and the themes discussed at this point. The proxemics of the characters is, are significant at this point. Um, their physical closeness reflects their need for each other in this world of sinful people around them and ultimately further engages the audience through their relationship. The scene being in a church promotes the idea of safety and security for the characters in this holy building. There's a sense of protection from the outside world of sins and cruelty that creates a sense of relief for the audience, who can now bond with the characters at this emotional point of the film. It also links to the theme of religion and the idea of having a strong faith, which is currently being discussed by the two characters. The low angle mid shot of James and Teresa as they pray in the church is significant, as from the audience's point of view we can literally see them looking up to God for help. Most of the shots in the church are close-ups, which heavily involve the audience in this deep emotional conversation. When the man in the coma is being blessed, there is a mid-shot of James and Teresa, which focuses the, attention, the audience's attention to his role as a priest, and not so much the victim of the accident, which is who we might expect to have the most of the attention at this particular point. Um, keeping our attention on James as a priority is another chance for the audience to witness the aid of a good priest, and contrast the recent cultural stereotype, um, achieving the film's intention.